The Ukrainian news agency UNN.com UA on the 15th of July published the following material according to the commander-in-chief of forces of DPR, Igor Stilko. According to the news agency, the tank of militians got on their own minefield near Dmitrievka, blew up and burned down. Thus, UNN published Igor Strelkov report. According to it, four units of armored machinery of the enemy, while trying to recede, got on their own minefield along the border with Russia, blew up and burned down. It's not clear why should Strelkov name his own forces as enemies. UNN hasn't simply muddled facts. UNN hasn't hesitated to publish Strelkov report with their own interpretation. Television news service of TV channel OnePlus One in release of the 15th of July accused the militians of the airstrike around the Snezhne. Thus, the airstrike was made by the Ukrainian army. And some Ukrainian mass media, in particular Censor UA, UA Info, Liga News, declared that the airstrike was made by Russian air forces. But eyewitnesses claimed that it was made by the Ukrainian plane. Вы бомбите кого? Мирных жителей? Наша украинская армия не спасает население, а наоборот. Вот осколок, который попал. Этим осколком чуть меня не убило. The similar point of view sounded on the air of Ukrainian TV channel 112. Their correspondent, in difference from other journalists, visited the place of tragedy. Ни у кого из местных жителей сомнений нет. Авиаудар нанесла именно украинская армия. The Ukrainian magazine Focus UA published the colorful infographic, quote, Our army and the Ministry of Internal Affairs restrict insurgents despite the help to separatists from Russia. Tanks, grads, missiles, needle, UAVs, mines. The Russian Federation doesn't feel sorry for equipment for maintenance of the center of instability in Donbas. Thus, the magazine didn't provide any proof of the statement about mass deliveries of arms to a national militia by Russia. And they will tell about progress of retailers forces by themselves. Нас осталось человек 14. 